um, do you do rest press releases for influencers? Because influencers didn't basically exist as didn't exist basically. Uh, well, a social media influencer or influencer online didn't really exist ten years ago. Um, do you, do you do work for, with influencers at all? So I I personally have targeted podcasters because I was uh, presenting at Podfest. I think it was last year, and they wanted to know about can press releases work for promoting you know, podcast, uh, if you have a podcast, uh, can, you know, how does that work? So I, I did several different press releases for uh, podcasters. And I also looked at published uh, press releases that other podcasters had done to try to determine, uh, you know, what works and is it successful? Unfortunately, I found that it, it really worked when you name dropped so uh, there was the pod, uh, the podcaster who was uh, Donald Trump's personal attorney, uh, and he was he was doing a interview of Stormy Daniels, and that one just you know that was like <laughs> another couple hundred articles about that. Everybody wrote about that, um, but you know um, surprisingly, the podcasts that did okay were the ones that were more education minded uh, there was some uh, on history and specifically um historical stuff in the south and uh npr and other places picked those up and and did well but i found that without a lot of context i think it's hard for journalists to determine is this influencer worth sharing with my audience? Because a journalist is a gatekeeper and he's trying to determine, is this story entertaining enough or uh, intriguing enough that my audience would want to know about it? And I think what happens with a lot of times with influencers is they're unsure, it, you know, whether it meets that qualification. Now, if they're mentioning Stormy Daniels and Donald Trump, you know, that's, that's a slam dunk that, you know, there's probably going to be people who's interested in it. Uh, but for, I think a lot of stuff, it's, it's harder to say. And I think that's why the educational ones where the focus of the podcast is more about the content rather than the personality tended to do better. Mm -hmm.